Thank you. Oh, Mr. Speaker, oh, it's uh, great to be here today to uh, recognize National Bible Week, and especially along with my colleague, uh, Doug Lamborn from uh, the great state of Colorado. Oh, and I appreciate his willingness to uh, organize this this evening and to uh, call attention to uh, a book that has has had more impact on uh, world history than any other book than I think uh, that has ever been written. And uh, I just want to say that here in this chamber, we are reminded as we look around that uh, the, of the influence the Bible has had. I uh, look around the room here and see the reliefs of uh, many lawgivers that were depicted around the top of the ceiling that shows that uh, there were men over the ages that have contributed to the making of laws. And it is, of course, to remind us what our job here is to make uh, great laws. But what strikes me is the one that's over the main door that is over the Capitol, uh, I'm sorry, the main door that leads into the House chamber here in the Capitol, and that's uh, a relief of Moses. And the relief of Moses uh, that is behind me uh, is different from the other reliefs there. He's neither looking to the left nor to the right. He's looking straight down, uh, actually on you, Mr. Speaker. And uh, I don't think it's any coincidence when they designed this room that uh, they had that in mind, that uh, Moses was the great lawgiver because he gave the laws that uh, came from God. And, of course, above the Speaker's chair is the words, in God we trust. So it is uh, on and on throughout the Capitol building itself, you see the, uh, the, we remember that the Bible has such a significant part. But there's one painting here in the Capitol building that I want to call your attention to as in closing that a lot of uh, people don't really think about, and that's the signing of the Constitution. They have seen this painting, but it's uh, here just a few steps from where I stand right now, uh, and it was painted in 1940. Uh, the artist was uh, commissioned to, to design a painting showing the signing of the Constitution in Philadelphia. And in that painting, you will see several uh, of the delegates, and most of the delegates are actually depicted in that particular painting. And in that particular painting, you have George Washington that's presiding over the, the signing of the Constitution. You can see Ben Franklin prominently uh, depicted there and uh, several other of the founding fathers that you can see depicted. Uh, but on the far right at the bottom, you will see one of the delegates there uh, who it was Delegate Robert Morris from Pennsylvania. And unless you look closely at that painting, you may not notice, but he has his elbow on the table, and right beside his elbow is a book that is open. And if you're like me, you may have passed by that painting on many occasions, but never noticed what that book was about because you just think it's maybe some law book that was open there during that particular time. But quite honestly, if you look closely at the painting, you can see that it says St. Matthew chapter 5. And I can't help but believe that during the discussions that day when they were drawing up the Constitution and signing it, that that particular book of the Bible had a very significant impact, uh, importance upon the, the uh, discussion that was made there. And because of that, uh, I've read through chapter 5 of, of Matthew and tried to really sort of figure out what it is that maybe they were talking about that particular day. But uh, I can only guess that one of the verses that in chapter 5 that they may have been paying attention to in particular was the verse that says, don't hide your light under a bushel and let your light shine before men. And they wanted the United States of America to be a light to the rest of the world. They wanted it to be a city on a hill that would not be hid. And that's a, exactly what I believe that our nation has done over the last 250 years. So, Mr. Uh, Speaker, it's great to, to be, have a chance to talk about the uh, Bible, the National Bible Week, and I congratulate my colleague, Congressman Lamborn, for his work here. And uh, thank you for us being able to draw attention uh, to this uh, book that has really changed the life of so many, uh, literally millions of people around the world. I yield back. Okay, I thank the gentleman.